Hey guys, Kip Create here. So in the aftermath of the Pyro update, the Heavy got the second banana, which has really upset the Lunchbox meta arguably for the better. Many people have compared the banana mana to the sandwich, pointing it out to be a very viable alternative for a healing support item. But if you know anything about me, I, Kip Create, Heavy Man, am fully convinced that the Delocos bar is better than if not far superior to the sandwich. The sandwich ain't my style. So as a Delocus dedicated man, I've got a bit of a different take. And I'm sure many of you are interested in hearing what I've got to say. So here it is. The banana versus the Delocus bar. So for those of you that don't already know about the Delocus bar and my take on it, I'll give you the short version. But if you want the unabridged version, I'll leave the link to my previous video on the Delocus bar in the description. So basically, the Delocus is a strategy tool, used as a more defensive buff item than a healer, utilizing the buff in faster recharge to sustain and maintain yourself and your team. The Bone Anner, however, is basically a mini sandwich with the Locust properties. It heals 200 HP when used with no other benefit, and drops a smell of health pack when thrown, like the Locust Bar, and charges in 10 seconds, which is also the same rate as the Locust Bar. Its usage falls somewhere between the Sandwich and the Locust Bar as well. Like the Sandwich, a healing utility, it's specifically used for the purpose of recovering large amounts of damage. Like the Delocus Bar, however, it isn't a great team healer for burst healing, but instead relies on a faster charge and multiple uses to make the item expendable and more of a maintenance item. Compared to the Delocus Bar, the Benini is a superior solo healer. The Delocus Bar heals 100 HP, and the Nano clocks in at 200, bringing a heavy to a quicker hover recovery than the Locust Bar. However, when the buff is considered, the bandana only barely edges out, as the heavy can take 200 HP worth of damage before needing to pull out and fully recover to base HP, whereas the Locust Bar can take 150. However, the Delocus Bar still beats out the Burnanner in survivability. The Delocus Bar boosts the max HP of the Heavy, meaning when put against a solo Heavy wielding any other secondary, he boasts a 50 HP advantage. On top of that, the max HP boost gives the Heavy more health from HP pickups, allowing him to get more bang for his buck. Put simply, the Bananana helps you recover if you survive, like the Sandwich, but the Delocus Bar helps ensure you to survive. Now, supportively, the Delocus Bar and the Banane are the same. Both drop small health packs, both charge in 10 seconds. They're good for sustaining team members and medics, giving them a little boost, and overall, giving them just a little bit more ability to hold out. While they don't have the power of the sandwich tusk, they still do enough to be useful when the team needs it. Overall, the Blarda Bananan is a great item and a solid solo item, with a great recovery tool to be used when you need it but I won't be straying from my chocolate bar anytime soon, for the same reason I don't use the sandwich. While heal-focused recovery tools help me win if I win a fight, I like knowing that I've got myself set up to have a better chance than that, and the Locust Bar gives me what I need there. Even a lower healing is practically a non-issue when you consider for the next 30 seconds after healing 100 HP, boosting your HP by 50, your health packs are going to give you 10 to 25 more HP per pickup, making everything work more in your favor. The Locust Bar is about preparation and setting yourself up to win what others can't. And the Banana, it's only a healing utility. It simply can't match the security and the peace of mind that the Locust Bar gives me, but it's still a great and fun tool to try when the sandwich gets too old and slow. So give it a run and see what works best for you. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it informative. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys in the next video.